Derek Ho acknowledges the prayers of his fans while his wife, Haley Herbert, has brain surgery. The Dancing with the Stars dancer now requires surgery to repair a part of her cranium following an emergency craniectomy. Haley Herbert hasn't completely left the woods. On Wednesday, Derek Ho informed his fans that his wife will be having skull surgery as part of her ongoing medical care. I firmly think that Haley's recuperation has benefited much from all of the prayers that have been sent with love and intention. In the wee hours of Wednesday, the Dancing with the Stars judge posted on his Instagram account saying, I can't thank you enough. To restore a significant section of her skull that was removed during a hercranectomy, she is having surgery this morning. Kindly remember her in your prayers, as I think the combined energy has been really helpful to her these past few weeks. Ho and Herbert were in Washington, D.C. for the most recent performance of their Symphony of Dance concert tour on December 6, which is when it all started. Herbert got lost after the show and ended up in the hospital. Her condition was determined to be an intracranial hematoma, which is an accumulation of blood in the skull caused by a ruptured blood vessel. An emergency craniectomy, the removal of a section of the skull to relieve pressure on the brain, was necessary as part of the treatment. The surgery went well, Ho had earlier called Herbert's recovery, nothing short of a miracle. To replace the portion of the skull that had to be removed, surgery is now necessary, as he has already stated that his wife's rehabilitation will be a long road. Fans may be confident that Ho will probably continue to provide updates. Please continue to pray in the meanwhile. After dating for eight years, beginning when they met on DWTS and So You Think You Can Dance, Ho and Herbert tied the knot back in August. Ho said in an earlier Instagram post, Even though neither of us expected this holiday season, we're really thankful to have it. We hope to treasure these times and develop a greater respect for life and the people in it.